What's up everyone? Welcome back to the show and thank you for tuning in. We're going to try something a little bit different today and go wide angle lens style. Mix it up for you, see how that goes. I have a relatively short stack of pickups here, modern and retro, so we'll get right into it and go rapid fire style as always. The first of which is Lego Marvel Super Heroes 2 that I believe I got from uh, GameStop. My daughter and I absolutely love the first one. This one, it's not as good, to be honest with you. I don't know if that's because a lot of the characters are what I would refer to as peripheral characters in the Marvel Universe. Maybe that's just because I'm not a Marvel aficionado. Something about it just isn't as captivating. We got about a third of the way through, but we just don't find ourselves revisiting it as much as we did the first one for one reason or another. Next one is Signmora EX that I got off of Mercari, but Cam from Modern Retro Renaissance recommended this, and I gotta say, I'm absolutely loving it. I did some gameplay a little while back. It is a side-scrolling shooter for the modern era. I'm actually looking to get more shooters for, um, <clears throat> for the PS4. I would love to hear your recommendations if you have them. Next, I think I also got this on Mercari, but I haven't played it yet. It's Bee Simulator. This was something that Generation Pixel talked about. I think his copy was also for the PS4. Also, Linden from uh, Old School Games and Stories got this, although I think his is, might be on the Switch. And as he said, you go around doing bee stuff. So that sounds like fun. I'm actually waiting for my daughter to lose another tooth already so I could sneak that under her pillow. All right, next. I already had this game, Twin Cobra. It's my favorite game on the Sega Genesis so far with my limited uh, exposure to the system, but I loved it so much that I had to get a case for it. John from Retro Projections sent me his copy uh, a while back, and like I said, I wanted to, uh, to put it in a nice clamshell. This is actually a new cartridge, okay? So I got the cartridge here and the case off of uh, Mercari, and once I got that, I decided to send John his copy back because I know how much he missed it. All right, next. Mega Man X for the Super Nintendo, sent to me by Ryan from 123 Gamer Man. Beautiful copy. That's a must have, right? That's a must have. Next one, another modern game off of uh, Play Asia. My first Play Asia purchase, it is RP Golf Legends. It's still sealed, I haven't opened it yet. I can't wait to play it, but you know how it is. There's just not enough hours in the day sometimes. Sometimes, all the time. It's an RPG with golf elements. It's like right up my alley. I've seen gameplay, I've listened to the music. It sounds amazing, it looks awesome. I can't wait to get into this. RP Golf Legends. Next, the game that everybody's talking about, it is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the Cowabunga Collection that I got off of Amazon. I pre-ordered it what seems like a year ago, and no, it's not quite a year ago, probably six to nine months ago, who knows. My daughter and I recently played uh, Turtles in Time, the arcade version. Uh, we absolutely love playing it on the Super Nintendo, but I know there's a lot of differences on the arcade. So I wanted to show her that, and we had an absolute blast with it. It's, it's a no-brainer for any Turtles fan. It's a compilation disc of a dozen Turtles games. Excellent, excellent. Next is a game for the Xbox. It's Burnout 3 Takedown. I got this in a very, very large lot of Xbox games that I'm not interested in, but this one is so much fun. I gotta say, I popped it into the Xbox, then I played it on the Xbox 360, and it looks amazing, and it is tons of fun. Holy cow. That's staying in the collection, and that's gonna conclude this week's pickups video. I uh, really appreciate you tuning in. Let me know which one was your favorite and if you have any recommendations for the PS4, the Xbox, just any recommendations in general. Thanks so much for stopping in and I'll see you next time.